on BD Nation, it's me, BD Heat Day, and we're here to get ourselves scared. I'm not actually sure why I'm here right now. I'm pretty sure it's just because you guys like these videos so much that I'm just going to keep doing them until I just scream internal eternally. Yeah, because I'm losing my mind because I'm watching scary stuff. This one's called Five Ghost Videos So Scary You'll Scream for Your Mama. So I'm very convinced about this title already, much less without even calling my mother yet at all. Because, you know, I got my phone here, I'll just call her if needed. Hello? But yeah, other than that, I'm pretty much all I gotta do. Go check out Nuke Talk, Nuke's Top 5 channel in the description down below, along with his original video and channel. And then you should go check out my channel if you haven't already, because my channel is funny. Yes. That's all I got for right now. Let's get it. Let's get it started. Okay, Nuke, what you got for me today? I'm intrigued. I'm scared, but I'm intrigued. So, do not... Help on ghosts. Call on camera. Okay. Reaching out from the other side. Okay, that's all I need to do. This next mysterious video was captured in the countryside of Japan in 2018. Gotcha. YouTuber and paranormal researcher Fourth Wall claims that the video was shared directly with him by a source that wishes to remain anonymous. Okay. The footage shows someone walking around an old traditional Japanese graveyard in the middle of the night. Cool. The anonymous source lives right next to the cemetery and says that he heard a dog barking loudly throughout the night. Nothing wrong with that. Fed up with the continuous noise, he goes to investigate. Terrible, that terrible idea. Now, there have been rumors of strange things happening in this particular graveyard. So, he decides to film as he searches for the barking dog. <coughs> Idiot. It did not go well. That's stupid, yep. Listen, I understand dogs need help too, but man, it ain't worth this. This dude hasn't moved one step yet. Did you see it? Right before he cuts the video and runs, a horrifying tiny little hand can be seen reaching out from underneath one of the gravestones. Oh, that is I've terrifying. I've zoomed and stabilized the footage, and as you can Whoa. see, the hand is so small that it almost resembles that of a very young child. Forget that, So is yo. the graveyard haunted by a restless child spirit? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Forget that. Restoration. Okay. Six years ago, in 2014, Matt West shared a very creepy video to his YouTube channel. Matt says that the video was shot by one of his friends who had recently bought an old house in Lumberton, Texas. Okay. Now, it should be noted that this house is said to be haunted by the ghost of a handicapped man in a wheelchair who lived in the home 40 years ago. Wow. Tragically, the man fell into the house's pool and drowned. Oh, it's terrible. Since then, many of the house's residents and visitors have claimed to see the terrifying apparition of a man in a wheelchair oh. rolling aimlessly Honestly, around. if that was me, I probably just thought I just saw Pro Pro Professor Xavier's ghost, if we're being honest. Oh, man, that, that's still terrifying, though, regardless. I'm, mm -mm, nope, not me. The home. So, Matt West's friend was renovating the old house and was recording a before and after video of the house's restoration. Makes sense. When the man reviewed his camera footage, he was shocked to the core by what he found. Not me. Did you see it? Not me. As he enters one of the rooms, a figure in red can be seen moving in a doorway right in front of him. <laughs> Not me. For some reason, he doesn't see Not the strange me. figure at all mm -mm. as he continues filming the room. Then, as he looks back, the apparition seems to float right by him without <laughs> oh, making no. a sound. No way. Even son. stranger, the creepy figure in red appears to be sitting in a wheelchair. Get that. So could this be the handicapped man who drowned in the swimming pool outside the home so many years ago? Hell no. Or just who or what not is me. that? Definitely you're not catching me doing Let that me crap. know what you think. I think I'm moving. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us Go at newstop5 at gmail.com. 
a school like a prison. Oh, this Over on the YouTube channel, Michio FL Chan, Brandon Benson, and his friend. I'd like to mention that we've only gotten. We've already gone in two clips, and we've been in this video for four minutes. That's terrifying alone, which means the other three can be super freaking long. Let's get it going. Friends decide to explore a series of creepy abandoned buildings near his home in England. Mm, makes sense. The buildings have a very dark history. Not good. This place was a Victorian-era, quote, reformatory school for boys. <laughs> basically, a prison for children. Not good. The reform school originally opened in 1857 oh, and housed God. poor children who had committed crimes. Oh. Most of the offenses were nothing serious. In fact, many of the poor boys were in prison simply for begging for food on the streets. Damn. Nevertheless, what? the children at the school were treated like hardened convicts. Damn. They were forced to work at hard labor. Up. The school slash prison has now been abandoned for over 30 years. That's a good thing, man. Local legend says that the buildings are still haunted by the lingering souls of the boys nope, nope, who nope, suffered nope, there. Nope, 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 nope. So, Brandon and his friend... There is one thing scarier than a regular ghost. It's a child ghost. Because those thing, those are even freakier. Because for I don't know what it is like. You, like whenever you, whenever you see a child, it's like oh they're cute, they're adorable. And but whenever you see a ghost, it's like freaky. You see a ghost of a child, oh it's gone, running, sprinting the opposite direction, no hesitation. And spend a day exploring the creepy abandoned oh building, my God. and then they upload their video to YouTube. Mm. That's when they discover something truly terrifying. I'm okay. As the teens enter one of the old buildings, this happens. Me and Calm will call each other in case we get split up. We can't find each other. We've got no phones, we can lie. I'm just trying to open the damn window. Alright, let's go to the next building. What the? Hada! Hada! Did you see it? God! A disfigured face seems to stare out at the boys from one of the old classrooms. What the hell? Brandon says that he has no explanation for the bizarre leering face. Get that! But, what do you think? No! Is the abandoned reform school haunted? Or could this simply be a very, very strange reflection? For, nah! Let me know nah. down in the comments. Man, get me out of this. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Oh, this is this is why because is TikTok is three separate videos, and now I'm not gonna be using TikTok for at least another week. You know? Just God. Sir Franco Vallejas claims that he has been experiencing shocking paranormal activity in his home. He says that he's seen unexplained oh, oh, shadow. Hell no, not this guy again. This is the dude that had the ghost outside his bedroom door and the ch the ch the grudge on the stairs. Oh no 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 no. Had severe sleep paralysis has actually been bitten on his back by an unseen force, mm -mm. and perhaps creepiest of all, he's captured the terrifying apparition of a girl Twice. wandering through his house Twice. at night. Twice. In a previous video, Stop I featured it. several of Franco's creepy encounters with the alleged female ghost. Forget that! After these scary encounters, <laughs> Franco says that the paranormal entity has not left him alone, and the supernatural activity in his home has only intensified. Oh, what the hot the... <laughs> Why have you not moved yet? Take the door with you if you want, because it looks badass. But take your stuff, go to a new building, and get the hell out of that one. The spirit seems to toy with Franco, frequently turning on his bathroom shower and sink, and causing his lights to flicker or malfunction. No! One night, when Franco is home alone, he notices that the light and stereo downstairs seem to mysteriously turn on by themselves. You stay upstairs. Se encendió la luz de abajo y está sola la casa. No, idiot alert! Idiot alert! Idiot alert! Idiot alert! Why are you going downstairs? If you know that's happening, you keep your butt upstairs. It's common knowledge. It's not that difficult to understand. Man, yep, go back upstairs, go back upstairs, go back upstairs, yep, go, 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 go. Forget this. You said it yourself. You're home alone. Stop it. Yeah, hell no. Get your, get your, get... Yeah, go ahead. <gasps> Then, on another night, things get downright terrifying. I wanna know. 
se escucha mucho ruido en el primer piso. What? Did you see it? After hearing a voice, Franco goes back to his bedroom. As he pans his camera around the room, in one split second, a woman can be seen sitting on his bed. When he pans back just a second later, Why? no one there. Why? Franco didn't even notice the creepy apparition himself. I don't care. But when he posted the video, his viewers pointed it out immediately. Cool. But is it a real ghost or just some very good special effects? I don't know. Let me know what you think. So, it's kind of become a bit of a trend in TikTok dance videos these days for someone to post a dance and then there's some spooky shadow or something in the background. What the hell? It's gotten to the I point that fake, I usually still. just don't feature those videos. But, many viewers sent in this next clip and I have to say, it's pretty damn creepy. I don't want to know what it is then. Just saying. TikTok user Mary Liz 9 records a short dance video in an empty parking lot for fun. But things take a very strange no, no, turn. No. As she dances from left to right, Mary Liz appears to be completely alone. But then suddenly, the, the figure of a man appears right behind her. He has his back turned towards her and moves backwards before simply disappearing. Some TikTok users think it's just really good editing. Some think it could be an optical illusion. And some even think the mysterious man is a time traveler. Mm. Uh, anyway, what do you think? Let me know. Be the first time I've seen people say, no, time travel. Scratch. What? Popular YouTube ghost hunting channel, MindCTV, received This last video is seven minutes long? No way. There's a bonus feature because it's frickin' October. An alarming phone call from a woman desperately looking for help. Okay. The woman, who wishes to remain anonymous, claims that she has been experiencing terrifying poltergeist activity in her home for years. She says that she can hear... Already stupid. You notice how they said four years? If, if they hear you say anything above a year, you are screwing yourself over, honestly. Because if, if you know your house is haunted, regardless of how nice the house is, if my house is haunted, I'm moving. There's no other excuse for that. If, if I'm getting go... What the hell? Sorry, that was odd. Probably something that just grabbed my shoulder. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going crazy or something, but oh man, that, no. Claws scratching at walls and doors throughout the night, and the sound of someone or something wandering the halls outside her bedroom door. I for real think something might have touched my shoulder, that or I'm losing my mind, I don't know what should be. Either way, I'm, I'm going crazy, so it doesn't really matter, but still. Gave the sinister entity a very fitting name. Okay. Scratch. So the woman invited Mindseed TV to investigate her haunted Pennsylvania home to hopefully find answers to explain the disturbing supernatural activity. Okay. The walls and doors inside the home are indeed covered in scratches, even though the homeowner doesn't own any pets. Remember when she said that uh, she doesn't have any pets? Uh huh. But there's like all these scratches all over the house. There's scratches all. Oh, forget. Well, this is like something scratching to get out. I'm not sure what music this is. Can we not do it though? Oh, that's on the inside? Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Dude, she's not. Holy. Soon after the Mind Seed guys start their investigation, it becomes clear that something does not want them there. Oh, God. All right, I'm coming up. Can you please not push me? Oh, it just says shove us on the omnibus. Yeah. Yeah, no one went down, sir. Can you please not shove us? So that was a threat. That's what I think. Oh, shit. Please. Holy Are you good? What? No, up. You alright? 
Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's I'm like, like dude, bracing you up. My arm, it just like exploded. No, my arm just felt like it got slapped. In the home's basement, they find Forget three strange that. bricks lined up perfectly to block up a small hidden area inside a brick wall. Oh, the Mind Seed TV guys remove the bricks to find what looks to be the charred remains of something with a very foul stench. There's flies. Look. Yeah, that's that's some type of charred remains. There's flies in here too. Yeah, that is charred looking, right? Ew. Ew. What's up with the bricks there? Casey, Tanner, and Colton decide to do what they call in the paranormal field a quote blind spirit box session. Sorry. Tanner covers his eyes and ears, so he is only able to hear the answers coming through the spirit box. Meanwhile, Casey and Colton do not catch me doing this ever. <laughs> no way. And ask the ghost questions. Okay. When they ask about the hole in the wall, they get a response that is downright chilling. Okay. There's something buried in the rubble. I'm not gonna touch it. What's inside this wall? Baby. For the spirit. But when Casey asked about the remnants behind the wall and Tanner's response was baby for the spirit, my stomach flipped over. Oh when asked God. about the mysterious burned remains inside the wall, Tanner hears the what? words baby and for the spirit. Forget that. After this intense experience, the team has had enough stress for the night yeah. and decide to just get some sleep. Smart. Of course, it did not go well. Wait, what? Wait, y'all slept in the home that's haunted by the ghost named Scratch? D honestly, at that point, you're just playing yourselves, honestly. Like, th there's, th there's nothing on their part that's... Nope. Hey, yo. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. When I woke up, my heart was racing and it made me feel even more uneasy to know that the guys heard it too. It sounded almost like a wrecking ball was dropped onto the roof. Whatever it was, it was so loud that it made me jump out of bed and then next thing I know I hear the guys yelling. A loud bang from somewhere in the house wakes up the three investigators. Colton claims he heard it coming from the roof right above his room. They all go outside to check it out. I don't see in the yard. Oh, hang on. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What the? There's something right. Yeah, you heard yeah, that, right? Scratching. Yeah, it's like there's something running around up here. Dude, it was like a like a claw, like just... Hold on. What's up with that? What? Dude. That was not like that. Dude, something opened that window. Hell 100% while we were out here. That opens from the inside. As they are standing outside, Gone. scanning the rooftop, a that window in the That is your cue to move out. Bye. Gone. Bank mysteriously opens on its own. <laughs> When they go back inside to investigate, they find that the screen of the attic window has been kicked in and has fallen down the stairs. Not good. Freaked out and no longer feeling alone, they all want to leave. Good! But Casey convinces no. the team to- No! No, there's no but! It's just, you leave! End the story there. Thanks for watching. Good. Have a good one, honestly. Do one more short spirit box session dumb. before they leave dumb. the premises. So dumb. What happens next is... Truly bizarre. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did it. I did it. He said I did it. Come here. That's just laughing. Like that just sounded like it's laughing.
I am telling you this right now, YouTube. I will never in my life be put in a position like this. It will never happen. Ever. Let's keep going. Blood? Did he say blood or listen? No, 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 no. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, I'm... A terrifying laugh seems to come through the spirit box as if mocking the Mind Seed TV team. They finally decide to just get out of there. Good. So, what do you think is haunting the home? Is it real? Or yes. is it all just an elaborate hoax? You can't hoax that crap. You decide. You can check out the full investigation with even no. more creepy encounters I that I didn't show anything. here over on the Mindseed TV YouTube channel. That's all I'm checking out. Thanks so much. Holy, it is the month of scares and I have goosebumps all over me. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I'm done for the day watching this kind of crap because that was terrifying. Um, if you want to see more, because, you know, God forbid I can't stop watching these, hit the like, subscribe button down below for more of this stuff. And if you haven't checked out Nuke's Top 5 channel, subscribe to them yet, go do that, because they deserve credit for this video, as they've made this compilation of scary videos. And even though they didn't make the actual videos, they still compile these videos in together to make a great scare for me. So go to subscribe to Nuke's Top 5 and check them out down below, description down below as well. Go check out the original video, too, because the original video is definitely terrifying. Uh, that's all I got. You've been watching me, BD Nation. I am BD Day, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Have a good one. I need to go and do anything to protect myself.